Hey everyone, Mark Thomas Rob, aka Farm Boy, back with another wrestling DVD review and comparison video. In this video, I thought I would do uh, another comparison on a UK set versus the US that I got. Um, I only got this twice because the US box, I paid £10 for it years back off someone off Facebook who wanted to get rid of it because it was region one and he didn't realize it was region one so that's why i bought it so i couldn't refuse for a tenner uh the uk set i had cheap anyway as well i bought that brand new when it was on sale in the shop down my local city center years a couple of years after it came out so for the uk this set isn't it's good but with us having the tag classics it's just as good for the UK to get the tag classics before the network was available because of course yeah the events are in their entirety but the logos are still edited so there's no federation logos um, and all that they block right when they say WWF not when they say World Wrestling Federation but when it's shortened to WWF they block it out so the UK was better to get tag classics but the US was good because the first 11 events I believe it's 11 events yeah I think the first 11 events was re uh, released on DVD for the first time because of course the first DVD of this was in 1999 so it is the SummerSlam anthology as you can see this one's the UK one this is the US one uh, not much difference on the outside. Uh, the top's the same. Got the same logo. The front side of the box is the same. Um, as you can see, the boxes are actually different. The UK one is more of a square box. And the UK one is, the US one's rounded to look more like a co uh, cool box. Ours is just like a square cool box. Uh, on the bottom, it's a bit different because you got the UK 18 ring in. The US don't have it. It's just got about WWE program talents and all that. Where ours got the running time, 54 hours, 10 minutes. And UK catalog was WEB DVD 22. So the rest has got the logos on spying for like with a handle a picture of a handle uh, the US set has got that as well got a handle and of course on the front you got World Wrestling Entertainment Presents where ours got Silver Vision a World Wrestling Entertainment Production um, on the back when they was brand new on here and here would have been stuck if I can find where it's gone. Would have been. That would have been stuck there. Same as the UK one. Would have had one stuck there. Um, not much difference as you can see. Um, I will put the US just underneath. Uh, the only difference is the DVDs are slanted on the US one. Pictures are the same. Text is the same. Um, the US one got 60 hours for some reason. And the UK got 50 hours, 150 matches. But it is the same as you can see. Uh, 88 to 07. 88 to 07. And the top's different. Ours just got um the first two lines where the US got included in the first eleven SummerSlam events which never been released on DVD before. So that's them. So getting into the box uh, in the UK we didn't have much detail inside. We just had the big pack in. The US was different. The US had uh, packing it looked like you know, ice cubes in the box and it was 
smaller cases. So if I get out volume one, so that's volume one, uh, they are different. The US packing had the packing where the UK would have had if you bought them separately with the outer box. With the UK anthologies, all we had was the packing, the, the sets without the outer box. Um, I will show that one time I got the WrestleMania anthology and I got WrestleMania anthology set two, I believe it is, with the outer box. So I will show that sometime. But getting into it, as you can see what I mean there. The picture is the same. Uh, I believe we got we haven't got the warrior in Texas in this set. No, but we also got we got a different picture. We got Virgil, uh, Andre DiBiase, which is that one there. So the US sets are are better. I would admit the packing's better. Um, it all folds out into like a cardboard sleeve, so you've got uh, 88, 89, 90, 91 and 92. And in the UK, we just got one cardboard backed with uh, plastic gate fold DVD covers. So like some events are like a 15 rating. Uh, 15, uh, the third event in Night Night was classed as PG in the UK. Uh, I'm not 100% sure what that is. PG is for, uh, 11s and under. In the UK we get, uh, we got a U rating, PG rating, a 12 rating. So you've got to be 12 or older to watch it. A 15 rating to 15 or older and an 18 rating, which is 18 and older. Um, I think 18 ratings is like um, the US is like a TV 15 or a TV 18, something like that. Lou Ross, your set, yours is a TV 14, the US. So yeah, that's set one compared to our set one. Um, so that's on the back. See, we don't add that. We would add that on... Our back slipcase. I haven't got none of this summer slams on their own for the UK yet. I will probably get them down the line just to add to the collection, but I haven't got round to it. So for volume two, as you can see, a little bit different. Um, this would be the same on the UK if we had the outer box in the set, but we didn't. So opening it up, and you got we got the first same page. We don't have Owen Hart on on ours, I believe. We open it on the back and oh yeah, we do, sorry. We got Owen Hart on the back. So that means we won't have that one. We won't have Sean, Razor, Yoko, Austin. So in this set you get 93, 94, 95. Uh, 96 and 97 and on the back that's the back cover uh, UK one is 93 to 97 the same it's just the same it's all I don't know if the discs are only actually the same let's have a look let me pull out 93 yeah so 93 the discs are the same just missing the Silvervision logos and the bottom is a little bit different. So that's volume two compared to volume two of the US. Volume three, uh, US got that all on the front. That would be the same as I said before with the UK. And the back would be the same if we had the slipcase. So ours we get. Uh, Triple H Rock from 98. And then Rock and Rock from 02. 
and then going into it it's the same as previous UK ones and on the back we got Edge, Austin plus Eddie and not 100% sure who that actually is that looks like a bit like Val Venus uh, which one would have been that one that would have been 01 uh, where is he where is he Oh, he's not on A1. Or is it O2? Yeah, Val. Yeah, that's the Val, Val and Trish versus Eddie and China match. So yeah, coming inside, that's what we got ours. Ours is the US is like like that. And then we're missing uh, that Mankind and the New Age Outlaws, Shane and Jesse Ventura. And this set is 98, 99, 2000, 2001 and 2002. So that would have been the first one that is really non unedited due to the logos. And last but not least, we have got volume 4, so 03 to 07. Uh, UK is the same. If we add the outer slip case in ours, but we didn't. And that's the back. So we do have uh, that one. So we got that. Oh, one of the discs came out. So we do have that one. And then we got that one on the back. So the UK one is missing uh, that. So Batista, um, Shawn Michaels kicking Hot Kogan, uh, Undertaker Orton. So this is including 03, 04, which they did print. Chris Benoit versus Randy Orton. He did print it. Though this set actually came out in 08 when he um, passed away. Uh, 05, 06, and 07. So that's a quick look at the UK versus the US box sets. Um, not much difference, just to pack in the US one look like a cooler more of a cooler shape than ours um the packing was almost the same but we didn't have you the us had to pack in for our british slip cases but yeah nice event i will probably get the separate anthology sometime i'm in no hurry i, I only get them if i can see them really cheap and then they're in good condition i'm not paying over the odds for them because I don't really need them. So thanks for watching. Bit of a longer video today. Um, hope everyone's keeping well. Keeping safe. Keeping out of trouble. Fighting the good fight at the moment. As the right to censor used to say. Um, so yeah. Thanks for watching. Pass on to friends. Any comments. Comments. Any suggestions. Please suggest. And all that. Collection video will be coming soon. I'm waiting on two more DVDs. But I believe they're on back order. So I won't be getting them at the moment. So I'll probably just carry on without it. So thanks for watching. And I will see you for a new video. In the next day.